If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Oh boy, new sheriff in the town. That's right. Smartbear has released its newer tool for load testing called Load Ninja. This was released in the October month, uh, I think 29th or 30th, in the Smartbear Connect 2018 event where it, uh, it's an annual event for testers, development guys and other folks in the IT where you can get the updates from Smartbear and also the hands-on training, uh, stuff like that. So this uh, Load Ninja Smartbear is climbing. Is, it's the uh, next generation of load testing where you can reduce the load testing time by 50 percentage and by replacing the load emulators with the rail browsers and also you can get the actionable performance metrics all at ninja speed in this video we are going to see high level overview about load ninja and its features and how it works basically so in a traditional way what we do is we write scripts and we write we record a business process and then we enhance it and then we will set up the infrastructure we will uh, um, inject the load and then we will uh, collect the metrics and then we will uh, drill down to the uh, bottlenecks by comparing lots of graphs charts etc so this is the traditional way of uh, doing the load testing so what smartware is claiming is uh, the traditional way involves a lot of effort but using the load ninja you can expedite it and then um, you can drastically reduce the uh, time uh, for the load testing the scripts and also you can uh, uh, testing with the uh, real browsers instead of the emulators you can uh, test with the real browsers called true load technology okay so by implementing this uh, true load technology you can test with the real browsers at scale for your load tests okay and also you can use the insta play recorder so this is a new tool uh, insta play recorder where you can create and play back complex test scripts immediately without any correlation or coding so that is uh, another uh, milestone um, selling feature of this load ninja and the third one is you can take the actionable items right where is the bottleneck why it is taking more time where the time is being spent so there are two components involved in this uh, matrix. One is real time with view inspector and view debugger. So view inspector and view debugger helps you to uh, visualize the uh, degraded uh, performance in the, as load increases. So assume that you have 100 uh, virtual users. So 60th uh, virtual users, at 60th virtual user, you are facing some degradation. So how you can interact with the 60th virtual user and then uh, debug the issue and then you can solve it. So those stuffs you can do it using this uh, view inspector and uh, view debugger. So these are the three major features uh, they are highlighted in the website. And there's a small video you can watch it how uh, it works. And uh, so it is the graphical representation or uh, load ninja and the traditional way so load ninja insta playback real browsers and browser based navigation timings so i think they might be using the apis uh, uh, for your performance uh, metrics and the traditional way you can see here we have to code we have to correlate we have to data parameterize enhance it um, in, uh, inject the uh, uh, sleep uh, think time kind of stuff a lot of stuff we have to do and also we have to maintain our own fleet of machines to generate the load and a uh, lot of efforts being spent on each phase but in uh, using the insta play uh, and using the view inspector and view debugger you, you can reduce the time um, and you can spend more time in the innovation and other stuffs okay now uh, let us uh, talk about the pricing model so in load ninja has three plans basic pro and premium and the basic starts with thousand eight hundred dollars and pro starts 
three thousand dollars and premium uh, is at uh, six thousand dollars. So as you see, uh, all the three plans has the limitation of hundred load testing hours. So no matter what, how many virtual users you are using, you will be getting only hundred load testing hours. So you have to contact the support to increase the load testing hours, and also only you will be able to execute for one hour duration for each test uh, in the basic and pro plan. On in the premium plan, you can execute up to four hours. So again, you have to contact the customer care to increase the numbers. So here, if you want to do endurance testing for eight hours, so there is no plan here. You need to contact uh, SmartBear. So uh, there are a lot of uh, stuffs uh, needs to be uh, taken care before you purchase any plan because it's there are a lot of limitations I see, and uh, they have not mentioned anything about the protocols and other stuffs. I think it should be web uh, web based protocols only. So there are some limitations as such, but uh, if you have enough uh, budget and you want to get started uh, quickly as soon as possible and you want to try something new, uh, definitely you can check it out. Uh, Smart Bats Load Ninja. So that's it, guys, from my side. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.